Hello, people. Welcome to the United Way. Burnley hosting Manchester United tomorrow in the evening. That is the day in which I told you guys during a, a, a game in a Germany that Manchester United have to kick on their season. This is, and I'm going to tell you guys why I think United have to kick off their season with Burnley. Because I think, let's be honest, we have been uh, kind of abysmal, no, very low in uh, low quality football we've produced. We haven't had the points, but. Burnley either. Burnley has lost three games in their stadium without, I mean, with not less than three goals. So I don't see Manchester United giving away this opportunity, considering that most of you are already talking about a Manchester United crisis, which personally, I don't think, I don't see it. But anyway, guys, in this video, I'm going to tell you guys my lineup, which you can see already there, and I want to justify it. And guys, I want you also to tell me who, what your lineup is. Who will you put there? Who do you think you will change from what I have? Just what we do normally, we try to guess Ten Hag's lineup, you know. Uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, Manchester United, as I said, we have to win this game. We have a lo we have a lot of injured players. We have like six injured players, to be honest. And um, the, you know that I mean, like, like it or not, it does affect the way you play because you know Ten Hag has said in his interview previously that since he became a manager of Manchester United, he has used his what he called typical team, equipe type in French, uh, once because he's always suffered the problem of injury. What is the problem, injury problem of Manchester United? During Alex Ferguson days, we used to have two, three, two, two, but not six, five, not six players who are injured. So it's something we need to address at some point. United board, maybe not us the fan, but the board needs to, not board, but the whole structure, the medical team, the medical section needs to uh, address this. So guys, that's a game in which we uh, will tell you guys how we are we're going to approach because there are certain players in these games. If you want to tell me what play, what area should, I would change from the game with Bayern, which we play against Bayern München, is uh, the only place I'm worried about. If you look at the tactical ball what we have here, is is uh, this guy Veran, uh, Rafael Veran. Uh, I th Veran has come back from injuries. That's the injury boost we have already with Manchester United, Rafael Veran. But the question is, will you start someone who has been injured in a game? directly so this is uh i think veran shouldn't start i think we should start with lindelof so i will go with lindelof on the phone defense goalkeeper obviously i want to come back on something right this guy uh onana goalkeeper after the game with manchester united we have got reports that he went to this to this i mean to the hall to the training hall and the dressing room, sorry, and uh, had a, a chat with his teammates and asked for forgiveness and accepted, took the responsibility of not being good enough on that day. You know, this is what you call, you call, this is what I, I don't know what you call it, but I call, I mean, you take responsibility for your act and that's leadership. A leader is not a perfect person. A leader is someone who is accept, who accepts it's one of the qualities of a leader. You must accept your, your guilt. So he went and talked with the whole team and um, took the blame, talked to the manager, and uh, he knows he has had a very difficult season. And this has been confirmed already by Fabio Romano because I got that yesterday. Yeah, but Romano also confirmed that. So, yeah. So I will go with him. I think he's going to grow. I think... If you have noticed, when Manchester United is playing against teams, teams don't want to play on a high pressing on United because we have a goalkeeper who can play like a defender. And that is a massive plus in modern football. Some of you who are talking a lot about, oh, we want a goalkeeper, not a football player. You don't know football. Sorry, you're, you're living in the past. In the modern game, goalkeepers have to be very good with their leg. Stop shopping. Yeah, he can stop shots. Yeah, I mean, he, we saw that in the game in the Bayern Munich. He will have mistakes. All goalkeepers will have mistakes. We are talking a lot about him. Saw the, you saw the goal that um, the Bayern Munich uh, goalkeeper scored, uh, considered the first one. It was something similar. We only cry about only when it's us because it's Manchester United. And all the what is so bad is, what is so uh, the hypocrisy in football is most of the pundits in, in the UK, they make a career for Manchester United. We are fans. You are fans. Most of you watching here are fans of United. You love the club. You have an interest. But most of the pundits make a career through Manchester United, which I think is very unfair because they cry through our frustration and also our misfortunes. 
uh, gives them a spotlight to be, you know, known with all these crazy videos of like, you know, yeah, if you see what I mean. So I will start with him. He's, he definitely has to be. He is the guy who will start uh, defense and I'll play in front of him. Clearly, I will put uh, Licha, Lisandro Martinez. Hopefully he's not injured. I think he isn't. Then Lindelof will start. So let's put uh, Veran here because he's a doubt for me. In the left, I think Regulon. I told you guys, I told you guys a lot that Regulon was a player which I prefer to uh, 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 the Chelsea defender to come to Manchester United because I love his offensiveness. United wants to play an offensive game. Then on the right, we know we will have Deloyer. And this guy is the guy... Uh, Amrabat is the guy which most of you, Amrabat is the guy which most of you are looking forward to to see how he's going to merge into Manchester United. So I think Amrabat will play if he is fit, he has been training, maybe that may be the surprise. He might start and uh, he definitely has to start with this guy that doesn't need to have an injury, Casemiro. And in front of him, Bruno should be the guy who circulates everywhere. Bruno should be the game starts with Bruno. All this nonsense I hear from talk sports and all these guys, as I said, I told, I told you, that make me a, a career from Manchester United. Talking okay, about Bruno not being a good player, not being a leader, not being a captain. They're idiots. I, I mean, I'm sorry, I have to be very hard on them. It, it sounds harsh, but I have to do it because they're idiots. It, it, players, uh, pl players' um, output it depends on the environment in which they are playing, you know. The way Messi played with PSG is not the way he played with Barcelona. So it's a bit different. Yeah, so Bruno, he will be in my 10. And the surprise of my of this um, uh, lineup, I think, is this guy, Pelestri. I think Pelestri de deserve to be. Tell me what you think. You think Pelestri de de deserve to be in the first 11, guys? Because I really do think he should be. Guys, also, don't forget to like the video. It's important that you like these videos. It helps to share uh, the algorithm to share this video to other fans who don't know this channel. So Pelestri, I need Pelestri because I want him to be giving those crosses. This is an easier game for him. We are playing not all against uh, um, a beatable uh, opponent. So I think Pelestri should start. It will be... A massive mistake not to start Pelestri and bring in another player in this game. Ten Hag shouldn't do that mistake, hopefully. Then, as usual, Mr. No Substitution, Rashford. I put him on the left. And the man of the time, Hodgland. I, I, I think uh, Rasmus Hodgland. Rasmus Hodgland. If we do have a uh, Scandinavian here watching, Hodgland is in there. I think Rasmus Hodgland definitely is going to be the guy which... Uh, We'll be looking forward in this game. These are games where normally he has to score at least a goal. If he has a bad game, and why not even two? So if he gets the service that he wants, I think he can go for two goals. And my score prediction here is United is going to score three goals, not less. It could be 3-1, but I would love it to be 3-0. So that helps to keep this guy Yeah. Talking about news in Manchester United, we know of our, our uh, injury boost. We know that uh, Amrabat, as I tell you, is training. Amrabat is training already. He might, he will future, but the question is if he's going to start. We also have the man made of glass, which is, uh, uh, I always sick wanted to call him Sebastian Veron, but Veran. Veran, it's uh, Rafael Veran, uh, is also training, but I won't want them to start him. But in this case, one of the things I think I'll change here is maybe Amrabat will wait and then we will bring in maybe someone like Ericsson. But I want him to start. I want him to have 45 minutes and uh, we'll see how the game is going. If it's, go, it's okay, then we can bring in er Ericsson. So that is my lineup against this game, guys. Tell me what you think about yours because um, I think Manchester United, this is when we have to start our season. So when I mean start our season, I mean we need to start will score with uh, getting our three points. It will be six goals. Six, if we win in Burnley on Saturday, hopefully it won't be, won't be a, a crazy uh, result because if we win in Burnley on Saturday, it gives us nine points in six games. Uh, I mean, it's better than having seven, isn't it? So uh, I've gone for th three goals, Manchester United. It could be 3 nil. it could be 3-1, but we need to try not to concede goals. It is very important United doesn't concede the goal. So guys, tell me what you think about the lineup. Draw yours below. I want to hear from you guys. Make sure you click the like on the video. We'll be doing some shows here on the channel. I told you we have some technical issues. The channel is mostly sponsored by me personally, so 
There are certain things we need to cover. Hopefully, when we be a bigger community, I mean, you guys will determine that. And then we can bring in a lot of resources and also people who will bring you guys more quality content. So without said, guys, we'll talk to you tomorrow in the game. Give our match reaction. We want to do the watch alongs. We we'll have a question with you guys, but we need to fix something. There's something here that we need to all fix before we start doing watch along. Okay, with that uh, all said, guys, talk to you soon. And uh, yeah, have a nice one. Lovely weekend. And hopefully Manchester United comes out victory so we can kick our season again. So, kiss you guys.